So welcome to my first Let's Play. I think I've picked a really good one to start with. Um, I don't know why I'm building up, like you don't know what it is because it's in the title of the video so you know that I am doing the 100 baby challenge. Uh, now I wanted to put my own spin on this because obviously a lot of people have done the 100 baby challenge and I wanted to do something new and different. Uh, so I'm going to do the 100 baby challenge in Sims 4 in 100 hours. So I've opened up my game and I thought I would talk through a bit more of what I'm going to do. Uh, so obviously I'm going to start by creating the first matriarch. Uh, she's going to be the one that kind of kicks off this challenge. Um, also I've just already decided that she's going to live uh, in San Mishuno. I'm not sure if it's the best idea to have a 100 baby challenge in an apartment but I really wanted to make the most of that lot with the only line lot trait. Uh, because I know that the challenge rules say that you can't add lot traits, but once you pick them, you can't change them. Um, but I thought, you know, it's already there, we may as well make the most of it, because it also has the good schools lot, which means the children should build their skills much faster. Um, and I just, I think this is a really good way to maximise the gameplay time, because then I'm not having to worry about changing the traits later, because inevitably I will forget, and... I want to make sure she has as many sets of twins as possible because that is going to be the key to actually achieving the goal in this challenge. Now we're not going to use story mode to create the sim because uh, we're going to want specific traits for her because you can choose traits for the first matriarch then all the children's traits um, they all have to be randomized uh, so this is really the chance so this is the, really the time uh, to custom make a sim who is kind of built for the 100 baby challenge um i'll do the traits first just because then they're out the way uh we definitely want her to be uh what's the family oriented one family orientated because you need to be good with children you're gonna have a lot of toddlers to treat uh to teach um uh cheerful that might be good for kids and oh we should make her romantic because you know she's gonna need to meet a lot of people yeah you're smiling now you won't be for long um you know i'm I'm not really opposed to how she looks um i might just fix up her makeup a bit um disclaimer i'm rubbish at makeup um you can probably tell because i'm not wearing any at all so i just kind of make it up Long with my sims honestly you know what there looks tidy let's give her a nice hairdo you can keep the red i don't mind the red uh, oh yeah i do have custom content here i think the rules say you can't use custom content which is a shame because some of these hairs are really like it's really nice yeah yeah Oh, maybe we'll just uh, give her that one. I like that. So the way I see it with the no custom content, no mods rule, I think the most important thing is the no mods. So I have removed my MC command center uh, because I don't want that to interfere at all with the gameplay, especially since uh, it has the pregnancy settings. I will be cutting this bit down because I will spend way too long on the outfits and I'm not starting the gameplay clock until she's in the apartment. That I have already decided I'm going to give her. Um, because this isn't gameplay. This is just me dithering over out of it. So I'll catch up with you guys once I've picked them all. Okay, so here's the sim. Uh, you'll notice I changed her hair. Um, I decided it was probably best to give her um, hair that's available uh, without having to download custom content. In case any of you wanted to download her and try the 100 minute challenge with her instead of creating your own sim. Uh, so this is her everyday outfit. Um, for now I'm just going to give her one for each outfit uh, just because I don't really fancy sitting here and trying to pick out more because you know it's I've been here for a while. Uh, this is her formal outfit. Tidy dress, shoes match, uh, athletic. I've given her a lot of the university um, clothing uh, because in my mind I figure you know she's a young adult maybe she's just left university 
uh, now she's out on her own and has decided to start having children um but maybe she gets carried away which is why she ends up having so many uh sleepwear um don't know why i picked a bow for sleepwear but you know what it looks cozy and that's all you want you know um i quite like this outfit i think this is my favorite one uh with the boots uh swimwear i don't imagine she's going to be doing a lot of swimming uh, in San Mishuno, this is her uh, warm weather. I figure I give her the cat shoes. Oh, I can't see the cat shoes. Um, just because, you know, she is a young adult, so I wanted to reflect that in some items. Um, and this is the uh, cold weather look. Uh, I may have called that the cold weather look as well, but you know what I mean. So anyway, these are all her outfits. So now we're going to pick her name. Um, I figure I'll just randomise it for a bit until I see one I like, because my my mind is blank. Every time I pick a name and it's like a name of someone I know, it's like, no, I can't use that. They find out. <laughs> they might not be very happy. Uh, any of these names? Oh, Rose. Let's go with Rose. Rose Spear. No. Rose Kids. The thing is, I want it to be a good name, especially the surname, because we're going to be stuck with it for a long time. <sighs> oh, actually, you know what? Let's go with Pa, because isn't the surname of the family in The Incredibles? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of the family in The Incredibles. Yeah. So, uh, this is our sin. Uh, I think I'll start off in spring, because I don't want... I just don't have to deal with them complaining about it being cold yet. Um, so I said I'd already picked the apartment in San Mishuno. Uh It's in this building over here, the Jasmine Suites. This is the lot. It has good schools and only line. Um, and I already tested this out with the different sim uh, to make sure that they could afford it. And they could. So I don't see any problems um, coming. But, you know, it's the sims. There's always going to be something that goes wrong. Um, so yeah, let's uh, move her in. Uh, yeah, we want it furnished. We will obviously have to do a bit of uh, work on the apartment just to make it suitable. Uh, I'm also going to keep a list in my phone of all of the sims who Rose has a baby with because I don't want to accidentally have any with the same person. So then we'd have to discount those babies from the count and then you know we'll lose valuable gameplay hours uh so oh, pause okay we haven't started yet talk has not started <laughs> so i'm gonna start a timer each episode is probably gonna be about an hour of gameplay uh if it's a lot more or less i will let you know oh but just so i don't get too carried away i will set timer um You'll probably hear it when it stops. Okay, right. Okay. Are we ready? I don't know why I'm asking you. You can't tell me if you're ready. I'm not ready. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, let go. Right. First things first. Let's go meet people. Uh, there's no one around. Woman. We need male sims. Because at least we know they'll be able to impregnate the sim. Because uh, female sims, sometimes they can, sometimes they can't. Yo, stop. Uh, pause. All right. Okay, go and talk to him. And now we're going to be really inappropriate and rapidly make friends with him. Also, we do have the advantage of because we're in an apartment, there's are going to be people walking by. Um, and don't you leave. Don't you dare leave. Uh, right, let's get to know him. Let's ask about his day. We'll be really friendly. He has no idea he is about to become involved with. Would you like to be the first of many, many people? Don't leave. Okay. Let's tell an engaging story. All these people innocently walking past. Not a clue what this sim is planning. <laughs> the thing that I'd boast about fam what family? Talk about no What is he in the building? Ah turn. There he is. He's gone again. 
You gonna appear outside? Stop. Boss. You. Uh, I want. Uh, I want them to become close. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, I saw this. You can't take a photo with him. Uh, I saw little Simsy talking about how you take photos with Sims. Your relationship builds much faster. Um, so that'd be a good way to get to the point when they can start having flirty interactions. So it's Korea. Come on. Tell a funny story. Is he single? Ask him. Ask him if he's single. Ask him if he's single. Please be single. He's unflirty. Good start. Really good start. Next video games. Don't we all? No! No! Call over. Come back here. Okay. We may have to revisit him. Uh, is there anyone up by the apartment for the welcome wagon? No. Uh, you. Pause. I'm going to be utilising the pause button so much. Hello. you like to be my friend? No. Uh, ask this day. Heartfelt compliment. Yes. Make sure it's heartfelt. Ask about Korea. Welcome to the welcome wagons here. Brighten his day. Oh, can we invite him to hang out? Uh, let's hang out. Come up, come up to my apartment. It's lovely. There are two. Hey, look, it's him. How are you waving to them through a wall? Uh, no offence to the women there, but I'm going to pay very little attention. Oh, maybe we can take photos with them now. <gasps> yes! Photo with him. Every minute she's not pregnant, she's aging. That's not good. Lovely. Ah, oh, beautiful. Work it, guys. Work it. Take the camera, your friends. Use it for fun. For, for, there we go. Okay. How's your relationship now? Yes. You know, they're good friends. It works. They're eating the fruitcake they brought for me. So we have the first couple lined up. Okay, right, come on, flip with him. Romance, are you single? Uh, I might have to send the rest of them home for now. Uh, right. Are you single? He is single. Good. Change numbers, even though you live in the same building. His hands. <gasps> we've got, we've got the flirt bar. We've got the flirty bar. Good. Oh, where's the first kiss? We need the first kiss. Oh, she's feeling confident. This is good. Why, why does she keep wanting to boast about a family that she doesn't... <gasps> first kiss! It begins! First kiss? Done, guys. Okay, you want to uh, get some privacy? No, not yet. Oh, you don't know. Oh! Oh, let me guess. He's gonna... Oh, we don't have a computer. I'm going to read a book. No, there is no time for books. Our lineups and in interactions. So... Bruce! They're going to. Go on. I feel like we should give them some privacy. Leave them to it for a bit. Right, go take a pregnancy test. Right.
Oh, one pea. Please, please, please. That's not what I was expecting. Yes! Pregnancy number one. Uh, also, after they uh, impregnate the sim, I'm going to have them ask to just be friends. So that way they don't keep asking it out on dates and stuff. So yeah, she's pregnant. Let's be friends and then leave. Send home. Okay. What's his name? Raj. I'm gonna I'm just gonna note that one down so I don't Oh, how's that? 13 minutes in and she's pregnant. That is not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And go. Leave. Oh, look. It's like he knew the other guy had gone. We could start flirting with him. Ready? Uh, go flirt. He's not liking this. Stop. Stop. Tell a funny story. We've repulsed him. Give him a pep talk. Stop flirting. That is the most neutral topic I've ever seen. Chat about property values. Oh, we also need to get her started on painting because that's the go-to skill. Obviously, she's uh, part of the rules of the 100 baby challenge is that the matriarch is not allowed to work. She has to stay with the children, um, the toddlers and the babies and so on. Uh, so they have to make money through a skill. So painting makes the most money. So that's what we're going to do. So I think when we go into build by, we'll renovate the apartment a bit, uh, get her an easel. You know, they're just chatting. Uh, let's quickly... Politicians? Okay. Uh, do we, we need a dining table, so we'll keep that. Now, put that in there. Okay, stick all this stuff in. You press backspace when you're doing this. Uh, it goes into the inventory instead of deleting it. It's, uh, it's a bit faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this bathroom into two. So we'll make that a small bathroom and we'll have this as the bigger bathroom with the bath. So we'll stick a shower in here. Uh, we'll use the university shower because it's the smallest and uh, they can walk through it so you can have it there. And the sink is still functional. So we'll do that. I'm going to make this into a three bed apartment as well. Just because we need the space. A slight in the what will be the bedroom? So we'll change this floor, the wall. I think if we do that. The bed can kind of go here-ish. We'll put the kitchen along this wall. It'll be small, but need huge. And then this will be like a toddler bedroom, a kid bedroom, and we'll be using bunk beds to get as many into each room as possible. Right, we'll leave those beds there for now because the kids can have those. We'll worry about bunk beds later. Stick this in her bedroom. It's, you know, we we'll need a dresser, so we'll just stick that there. This is why I am no good at speed, uh, speed build challenges. Because I just spend too long worrying about where to put everything and which colours of stuff to buy. Give me the easel. Dining table. Boom. That goes there. This goes here. Is there a fire alarm? No, we have to get one. Bin, we'll stick in this corner. We might upgrade to the money making bin. I think that's everything. We'll get some toddler stuff ready because. You know, they don't stay babies for very long. I do have custom content in here as well. I won't use it. I think I will leave the toddlers in this room because they need space for the potty and toys and things. Whereas kids just need a desk. So we'll just leave it like this for now. Okay, two toddler beds is fine for now. We'll get a potty and some toys. There it is. That, uh, Blaffy. Gotta have a blaffy. We'll worry about skill with them for 
the kids later. So I'll stick that. Stick it in this corner. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's bright, and that's honestly all I'm concerned with right now. Okay, I think we have everything we need. She's going to need to build her parenting skill, her cooking skill. Those are essential because we don't want her setting fire to the place and she needs to be able to teach kids really quickly and that will come when she has a parenting skill. So for now, I would like her to start cooking. I'm going to start with a salad because she cannot set fire to the kitchen. She's only working with lettuce. So she's built up half her cooking skill already just from making a salad. And it's of normal quality, so good. Okay, so it's the morning now. Uh, she's just going to get up, fix her needs. You see that? Door opened and a thought bubble walked down the hall, but no person did. Okay, let's do a figure paint. Then once you've done that, you can go out and meet people. I know you're uncomfortable. You had a disgusting fruitcake. Finish the painting. Then you can have salad. It, no. No, you cannot dislike painting. You have to like painting. We lost money on that. Can you imagine if we had a sim in a 100 BB challenge and we couldn't use painting? It would just be a nightmare. I don't know what I would make them do to make money if I couldn't make them paint. Oh, she's feeling flirty. Let's go outside. Meet people. Uh. Yeah, you, you'll do. Flirty introduction. Oh, yay. Oh, she's got rhythm skill. Uh, let's ask about day. Brighten day. Tell an engaging story. Share big news. Ask about day. Wait, did I accidentally tell him to share, tell her to share big news? Well, if that's not going to scare him off, nothing will. Should we take pictures with him? I feel like this is cheating. But, you know, it works so well. You can't, it's hard to argue with the results. I think, oh, there's people over here. Yeah, who are you? Sergio Romeo. Yeah, yeah, you'll do. He's feeling confident. Oh, okay. No, why does everyone keep leaving? Who are you? You. Wait, stop. Francine Spencer. Ooh, now can we accept this money? I've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend grandpa has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? I want the money. We only have 8,264 simoleons, but the 2,500 simoleons will come in very handy. I think we can accept it. You know, it's like a gift from distant family. You know, she know they know she's left university. They've probably heard she's pregnant and they want to support her. Um, so I think, you know, who are we to stop them from supporting her? So, um, right, she's, she's not doing too good. So, I mean, she's happy, but her fun is really low. So I think we're going to send her home to watch the cooking channel, build her skill, and then she can have some salad. I think then maybe she could do another painting. She's currently second trimester, so we can fly through this. See, normally when you send them to get food, while they're watching TV, they'll go and eat the food while they're watching the TV. I think she's doing this deliberately. She knows I've got a timer going and, you know, she's trying to mess with with that. See how long we've got left. I have 22 minutes left. <laughs> Paint faster. See, and now she's painting while she's happy, so hopefully it'll come up. Does she like painting? Yes. Oh, she'll make money on that one. 
Good. All right. Okay. Paint. Oh, she's uncomfortable. Warning sickness. We make her throw up. Make her feel better. Don't take your salad with you, girl. What's wrong with you? Do a landscape painting. See, normally they will wash stuff in the bathroom sinks. But she's in the bathroom, so she has to walk it into the living room. And people say Sims are clever. And they're not. They do stupid stuff like that. Yep. Sell it. That's like poor quality. Yeah, it's poor quality. I thought that was quite nice. Okay. Second. Still only second trimester. Are you kidding me? Okay, she needs to go meet more people. Who's over here? Nope. You're no good. Him? Hey, we were trying to meet him yesterday. Go. There we go. She got that in there. Oh my god, she's so pregnant. Why is she talking to me? Compliment his outfit. Because, you know, it's, it's lovely. He dislikes pink. He's a genius. No, 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 no. Stop. You're not leaving. I'll dramatic story. Stop. Normally when you interact, please stop. Make him stop. Okay, uh, he wants to leave, so I think we just let him. Hey, it's that guy. Talk about dreams. Uh, yep, we'll stop talking to you now. We know of you. We'll be in touch. And we're ready. Ooh, you hugged. Oh, what's wrong with her? We take a photo with you. Yes, we can. Oh, cute. Turns a lot. Good idea. Okay, once you're done in there, you can cook something. Why don't you give a little cheese a go? Good. It's where pregnancy doesn't normally take its long and sins. Normally it seems like they're asking to go to the hospital to have the baby, like, within five minutes. This time, no. Just to wait the last part of an hour. Well, not an hour. So far, it's been about 40 minutes that she's been pregnant. Now we're just killing time until... <sighs> the notification, the friendly notification will come up and it'll say, Gone into labour. Yes, so. Oops, so. Ooh, I think that was worth twice what we paid for it. Okay, go to sleep. Okay, we eat. You can have some more food. How are we doing in the pregnancy? Ooh, she's in third trimester. And they're off. Okay, this is one of the drawbacks of living in an apartment, is that you get the noisy neighbours. Um, so if it's not this, uh, it's music and things. And if your sims are sleeping at the time, it will wake them all up, including um, children, uh, toddlers, teens, everyone uh, is woken up. Now we can make her go and knock politely or pound on the door. Um, I think for now I'll just leave it. Oh, she's really annoyed and she's going to stay annoyed for two hours. Um, so I think when there are children and toddlers in the house, uh, I might try and do their sleep times not quite, like, normal. So maybe keep them up a bit later, do skill building, or maybe send them for, like, more naps. Uh, at least I think the benefits of being in a good school slot and on their line, obviously, um, I think they outweigh the drawbacks of having noisy neighbours. Go on, knock on. And there's two different responses you get from the neighbours. Uh, they either say like, Oh, I'm so sorry, you know, we'll keep it down. <laughs> or they'll say like, you know, we live here too. Um, deal with it, basically. 
don't know what his reaction is going to be when we complain about noise. Oh, yeah, that's the one I was. Yeah, I'm sorry. But your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge. If it becomes too disruptive, uh, we may have to move the family. I'm hoping we can stay here though because I just I would like to have as many sets of twins as possible. Okay, go and sleep. Okay, go and pee and then eat. And now I would like you to paint. Oh, pop art painting. Do a medium pop art painting. I think I put the easel on the wrong side because I like this view of the apartment. You can see basically everything. But if I want to see what she's painted, I have to swivel around. So I'm just too lazy for that. You have two minutes left. Sorry, three. Three minutes left. Just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> I don't like it. I say that now. Very soon, the house, the household is going to be full of toddlers and children, and I'll be wishing that it was just her again. Oh, come on! Go into labour! Yeah, but you can't have, you can't get pregnant again yet. You haven't had these babies. I say babies, I'm hoping it's babies. We can't tell because I removed MC Command Center. <laughs> I'm not stressed. She's going to level up on cooking before she has these babies. I keep saying babies. I'm just expecting it to be twins. If it's not twins, I'm going to be so disappointed. Ooh, she's rubbing her back. Is that the start of Yes! Let's go! More choices. Have baby at the hostel. Let's go! No, it's just How's that for timing? Okay, so once she has these babies, um I'll save and we'll call that for this episode. Uh because I'm not gonna just leave her in labour. It seems extremely mean check in go go plus we probably lost some time renovating the apartment anyway so i'm just going to allow myself the minute or whatever it's going to take to have the baby babies please <laughs> go run <laughs> go. scroll zoom in Oh. Uh, it's a girl. Uh, what's the daughter in Incredible Violet? Philippa. Yes! Oh, and since it's a boy, let's call it Dash. Violet and Dash Path. The Incredibles children. Yeah! There we go. Two babies. Okay, save. Can't save for the hospital. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to leave this one here. Um, I'll just get her back to her apartment and I'll save. And I look forward to seeing you all next time when we'll get her pregnant again. This was not stressful at all.